You have an idea for an awesome new product. You know how many you can sell per year and at what price. And you've started putting together a budget for the upfront design and production costs. How do you take your idea and make it a reality? First, you'll need to write out your wish list in as much detail as possible. Make sure to prioritize by putting key features at the top. Now you can begin sketching out your initial idea and further refine your wish list. Once you're happy with your sketch and have determined the product's core functionality, you'll need to team up with industrial designers and engineers. The industrial designers work on the product's look and feel and ergonomics. The engineers work on the functionality within. Both teams will have questions and will bring up any concerns about your wish list. Now that the functionality of the product has been fully determined, the designers and engineers are ready to move forward. The designers begin sketching ideas and planning for the case design. Engineers begin by creating a proof of concept using off-the-shelf development kits and ready-made modules. Any risky components are identified and tackled first. Next, the engineers need to create a schematic. During this phase, we incorporate all the components required to meet the specifications while keeping best practices for manufacturing and testing in mind. Once the schematic is finalized, we begin creating the alpha PCB layout. Up front, we'll determine the layer count for the board, optimizing the balance between cost and performance. The alpha is the first revision of the design that will be built. Alpha boards are usually larger to facilitate field changes, and they often include lots of extras like test points and debug headers for troubleshooting. When the alpha design is complete, the engineers will send the design files to a PCB assembly house for fabrication. Prototype board fabrication can be a lengthy process, typically taking two to four weeks. Depending on your product timeline, it can be expedited down to around one week for an additional cost. When the boards arrive, engineers carefully apply power and begin running electrical tests and executing test code. Each engineer gets a board they can then use for development and testing. The designers also receive a board to see if their enclosure needs any design refinements. Once the engineering and design team are happy with the initial development, they'll send you a working prototype. This part is highly collaborative. There will be lots of web meetings, making minor adjustments, and planning for the final design. Once you're happy with all the new design ideas, the engineers incorporate them. After a revision or two, you now have a fully functioning beta prototype. Depending on your product, the next step may be to send it to various test labs like UL to get approvals. The engineers can help guide you through this phase. They can also connect you with a volume manufacturer to produce it. If you're ordering a high volume, you may need a production calibration or test fixture created. Now your product is in the user's hand and you've made your idea a reality.